welcome to Genuine Core guys. This is the second video in the Java NetBeans GUI Builder tutorial series and in the previous video we have seen how to uh, develop application using labels and adding some cool event listeners and in this video I will show you how to use buttons and to set some important features of the base application. So this is the hierarchy of the application. This is the place on which we add components. So JFrame is the component is the component that contains all other components in the program. And in the JFrame we have added two labels which is called the login application label and this image label. So in order to set some heading for your program, uh, suppose I want to set a title for my program like uh, NetBeans GUI application and that can be done by clicking on the JFrame and changing its properties from the properties window and we have a title section here so I am going to give login application as name so I now if I run the program it is set to login application and other properties like see it is set to exit on close this means when you press on the close button of your program like this one the program will exit you can set it to hide or do nothing or dispose uh, but there is a problem if you set it to do nothing or dispose or even hide the application will not be completely removed from memory and this is useful if you are developing an application with more than one JFrame but it is not applicable in this case I, I mean we don't want to use it at this level I will explain it in a later section and there is a method called always on top if you set this to true or set this JFrame as always on top then no other application can be in front of this application let us test that so I have an application and I if I open if I even if I click on this GUI need beans this application won't go back to this application so that's what is meant by always on top this application this frame will be on top in every case uh, suppose if I run a terminal the terminal is in the back side of this application and it is useful in case of displaying some important information if you want so I am just removing the always on top value and of course you can set the background color but it is not recommended to set the background color of the frame you can use a paint panel to contain these elements and then color the panel I will in order to enclose these two labels in a panel you can use the enclosing method and use the panel one so now I have a panel that enclosing all of these two components so a panel is nothing but a container for containing components like label button so these are all containers panels table pins scroll pins I will explain about these contains containers in a later tutorial so why we have a panel and if you want to set the background color you can find the background color here so I'm going to change it to pure white so now the background color of this application has changed so that's about the background and some other properties and other feature available with the JFrame is the undecorated option if you set a JFrame as undecorated then you can see that there is no close minimize buttons so it is hard to move it is not even possible at this level to move the JFrame across the screen but it has some very good use under special cases which will be which we will see later case and that's about undecorated undecorated means you don't want the minimize or close buttons so I'm just removing the undecorated state so that's pretty much it and uh, oh yes there is one more feature which is resaceable if I set the resaceable button or resaceable feature to false then if I run the program 
the application resizing will be disabled you cannot resize this application this is very much useful for application like login application in which you don't want to lose your alignment by uh, increasing the size of your frame and in this case that's okay I don't want the resize robot resizing option and so now what we want to do is we want to learn about buttons so I'm going to add a button which can be found from the palette so a button is very much similar to label except with some extra features I mean label is not meant to accept some on click or mouse click events but button is explicitly designed to be clicked as you know already so login and this is the basic button and if I click on this button you can see that nothing is happening because we haven't added any even listeners and going back to the property section we can see that there is also the background font and similar properties that we have seen in the label and we can also set the text I have set the text using by clicking on the F2 button which will open the editing option also we can you can set the text using the text option available so login now and I have set the login to login now and there are many features the important feature that we will use on button is the enabled if you set the button as disable then you can see that it will become some kind of unclickable thing and only after you set the button as enabled you can make clicks on click on and in the label section we have added the mouse clicked and we have given the hello world click response and let us put that response to this button so I'm going to the event section by right clicking on it and mouse mouse clicked and here I have the option the option pane dot show message that over. now I am going to run the program so I got the message so that makes sense clicking on this one is not a good idea so <laughs> I have given even handler to the button so that's how you use button and some interesting things are you can also set some icons for a button like this and it is not a very good idea to set this image for this button you can generate small images smaller instances and use them as icon for your buttons so I'm going to remove the icon at this level since I don't want it. so that's it now we have labels and a button in the next video I'll show you how to add the text input to your program so that's it thank you for watching